and if I were me myself, no one is gonna give you more than you accept. Regular, continuous, and we've done a great job in order to define where we currently are and if for some reason burnout is our case. Now, in order to move forward and in order not to sink, we need to undertake some specific activities that can help us to recover and to maintain on the surface. Hey there, my name is Chris and you are in my project management sandbox. Here I'm sharing tips and tricks on IT project management and all the professional related stuff that can help you succeed as IT project managers. A quick disclaimer guys, I'm not a therapist and here I'm sharing my personal experience and the tips that I have allocated for myself if I would need them in future. We have done a great job in order to define where we currently are and what is our current stage in terms of the burnout. And if I were me myself a couple of years ago, the first advice that I would give for myself would be to set boundaries. And by the way, to let you know in advance, boundaries should work both directions, meaning you are setting boundaries not to allow others to impact you in a bad way and you are setting boundaries in order to not allow yourself to take more than actually you can. Meaning, if someone tells you that you have to overtime, you have to attend this late hour meeting, you have to do some work over the weekend, while setting up boundaries, you would definitely say, no, I'm sorry, this is not my business hours and this is gonna be my personal time that I will dedicate to myself and my family. And what is more, it is important to understand when we are talking about boundaries, you need to set boundaries for yourself as well, meaning no one is gonna give you more than you accept, okay? What I'm talking about is that if you're constantly saying yes, and if you're a yes man in your life, you will be always taking extra hours, you will be always demanded to stay late and to work on the weekends because you simply say yes, you accept this extra work and that is why you are getting overwhelmed. But number two is to maintain the healthy lifestyle. And this is tremendously important not only to recover, but to maintain your emotional and mental health continuously. What I'm talking about is that you need to eat healthy, you need to sleep enough hours and you need to do sports. And although that might sound absolutely trivial and obvious, I tell you that the majority of people never do this on a regular basis. Why do we usually feel exhausted and overwhelmed? Basically, we are overloaded at our regular, continuous and not dynamic experience with our work. And that is why it penetrates all our life throughout from the very beginning in the morning and until the next morning because we usually cannot even sleep without thinking about what we do at work. Thus, the third tip from me would be to find new hobby and that could be helpful from the perspective that you need to concentrate your attention on something else but your work because it is extremely important to separate these areas of your life tip number four would be to find out what are your productivity limits and productivity hours that actually could be helpful because during these hours you will be on top of your productivity but if vice versa your business day is falling on the hours when you are less productive that will eat double energy rather than if you will be working during the time that you can really do the work Working in IT and specifically working remotely gives a lot of flexibility. And if for some reason you have defined that your productivity hours are at night or maybe during the weekend, just let it be. Discuss it with your team, discuss it with your manager and build a schedule that would suit your needs. And the fifth tip in my list would be to manage yourself. I know, I know, it sounds extremely boring, however, only being a manager and an advocate for yourself, you can help yourself to stay within the comfort zone. 
you would need to maintain the boundaries both for yourself and for others. You would need to stay within the healthy lifestyle and you would need to find time for yourself, for your family and for your hobbies. This is extremely important if you would want to continue doing what you do at the same level of the efficiency. And as I have mentioned in this episode, it is important to not only pay attention to what we do at work, but to how do we feel about what we do at work. I hope that was helpful, so don't forget to enjoy what you do, to pay attention to how do you feel about what you do, and to protect your private life and emotional health. If you like this video, please give me a like and share it with others who do you feel that would be useful for. Cheers!